Hey everyone, welcome to another radio related video and this is the review of the DGEN DE 1106 receiver. If uh, you've looked at my videos, you probably noticed that I have a, a little cousin of uh, the DGEN DE 1106 which is the DGEN DE 1103. Now, the DGEN DE 1106 is kind of the next step forward they decided to do another receiver that would actually replace or be better than the DE1103. So came out the DGEN DE 1106 which was really uh, one of the receivers that people were waiting on to see hmm what was the performance and what will this receiver give us. First of all it's a nice receiver um, it's a little expensive though, you'll get it for $120, $130. So it's more expensive than the DGEN DE 1103 and um, then the PL600, which are, two, which are two receivers that are very popular on eBay and uh, on uh, some retail stores. Uh, Chinese made, of course, and um, the DGEN DE 1106. What it has compared to the DE 1103 is, first of all, a air band that was uh, not there on the 1103. So you can receive your local airport frequency, uh, all the airplanes here. So it's a nice little add-on. Um, not sure if everybody really wants that band, but it's there. Here in Montreal we have a big airport so, um, and we actually have three airports really close. So lots of communications on the air band. So it is kind of a nice little feature. And uh, the other feature that it adds is RDS which is the uh, radio data system. So if you're listening to FM stations you can actually have all that data uh, being displayed from the stations like uh, station ID, uh, song name, uh, weather, lots and even news. So uh, it's a nice little feature. I, I like RDS uh, a lot. Uh, lots of stations here in Montreal use it and actually uh, use it well by putting lots of information on it. And uh, one of the uh, key features also of this receiver is something called synchronous detection. And synchronous detection is um, there to be a kind of an aid to shortwave radio. Synchronous detection actually is simply um, taking up the carrier of a, a radio station that you're listening to on shortwave and replacing it with an in-home carrier made by the radio itself. So it kind of uh, takes out the propagation fading side of uh, stations and uh, it actually, on a, a receiver to where it works well, it actually can help you a lot in making a difference between I don't know what I'm listening to and I can actually ID a station. So it's a nice feature to have. There's a quirk here on this receiver. I don't know if it's only mine or if it's all of them or like that, but I've, I've read a lot about it on shortwave, on the, on the internet, sorry, and it seems to be something about this DGEN DE 1106. Uh, if we look at the front panel, so we've got of course our F keys here that have different functions and also bring uh, the different memory banks. You've got the um, regular keypad right here. You've got buttons like the RDS function and the mode switch of uh, single sideband. You have also have uh, here a um, copy, delete of your different memories. You've got of course FM, AM, uh, switch the time and page uh, switch here for different memories and also changing time. Up down button, volume control, you have lock, you have the light backlit display. Very very beautiful backlit I must say. One of the best backlit displays of uh, receivers I've seen. And the power on off button that is right here so you can see. This is the receiver. Now if you um, look at the right side of the receiver, you'll see that there's a tuning button here. 
there is a wide narrow switch for the shortwave band uh, select filter, selectivity filter. The fine tuning for the BFO here, which is good for the SSB, uh, single sideband listening. And of course, one of the key features of the Dijon D1103 that was kept here is the line out. So if you want to record audio out of this receiver or use the uh, line out to actually decode digital signals on your computer, uh, this is a great, great feature. On the left side, you've got the antenna input. So you can put those little real in antennas in here. You have your DX local switch here to attenuate signals. You've got your earphone, stereo FM through the earphone, which is cool. And at the bottom, you've got this little uh, adapter that is uh, available. You can put a power adapter to uh, save on batteries. Um, you can charge your batteries in the receiver. The receiver comes with 1000 milliamp hour and the nickel metal hydride batteries uh, that I've replaced with 2500 milliamp hour to get a little more time of radio listening. But what's cool is that the re receiver comes with batteries, a power adapter, and um, a little carrying pouch. So basically, you've got everything to just bring it along with you without any uh, little problems. So you can really, uh, you know, carry it everywhere. Now, on the performance of this radio. I gotta keep in mind that I'm going to compare this performance with the fact that it's ex more expensive than the uh, Dijon D1103, so I'll be a little more difficult on what I want. First of all, shortwave reception is sensitive, but the audio is not very good on the Dijon 1106. So it makes radio listening a little painful on shortwave, I must say. Second of all, the synchronous detection is not very good. So it loses its lock very, very easily on signals. So uh, I've actually found the synchronous detection in the D G D1106 almost useless. So if you're buying a receiver for its synchronous detector, this is not a good receiver. Um, maybe look at the Texan PL660 or um, some Sony receivers that actually have synchronous detections that are really, really good. The uh, FM reception is okay, but nothing incredible. Long wave, medium wave is respectful. Now, if we had a better audio on this radio, I think that shortwave and uh, regular radio listening would be pretty good. But um, it's a little disappointing. I must say that this receiver, after being, you know, tuned around for a while, uh, I found it a little, you know, I was kind of a little sad about this receiver. And uh, for its price, would have expected a little bit better. Um, I would have liked maybe take out the air band and put the money you put there into a better uh, audio and better radio in general. The air band is not very sensitive. Uh, I must say that I've compared it with some scanners that I have here with just a little whip antenna. And um, I must say it's not very sensitive to signals on the air band. Another problem that I've had a lot here, and even using just a telescopic whip, is that when signals are strong, uh, even with the telescopic whip, I was uh, I had to actually put the uh, switch to um, local so that it's not as sensitive, or else it uh, tends not to be uh, that cool. So lots, of, you know, I've got a mixed bag of uh, of. Uh, feelings about this radio. If uh, you have a choice in buying a receiver, uh, I would not look at this D1106 unfortunately. It's a great looking little radio. It is sensitive but it is not what you want. Uh, I think there are better receivers out there. Um, if you want to have something like an 100 range, <coughs> look at the um, Texan PL600 or 
or its little cousin, the Degen DE1103. Now, the RDS function though works really well uh, in FM mode. It locks extremely well, so you really, really have solid reception, even on weak signals. So it's that's the good side of the receiver. Of course, with the loading, uh, overloading, just with telescopic whip, I don't recommend putting an outdoor antenna on this radio because it's really gonna uh, blast off. Um, of course, synchronous detection being bad, uh, it's not really helpful and I've not really used it a lot because um, the longest I've ever been able to have synchronous detection lock, I would say is about two or three minutes but it uh, will unlock at some point so it's not really cool and um, it's a dual conversion so um, of course no um, there's no images appearing anywhere that's good uh, the selectivity the separation between the channels is quite good on this receiver but unfortunately because of the audio it's not that fun to listen to um, you have a choice between a very high whiny audio or a very muffled down bassy audio. Uh, it would have been nice to have something better in the middle where audio would be better because I think it would have improved this receiver a lot. Um, the other things uh, of this receiver is uh, well, medium wave and long wave receptions are okay. Audio is of course the problem again on these bands and so um, I would um, recommend actually that if you're looking for a shortwave radio maybe looking at another receiver especially if you're looking for a synchronous detection single sideband tuning is pretty good and actually in single sideband the audio improves because because of the way single sideband works and the fact that the uh, the um, selectivity actually the filter for single sideband is narrower actually improves the audio and I've even uh, you know sometimes put my radio in single sideband mode to listen to some radio stations on shortwave and actually found that it's uh, better than listening in AM mode it's a good receiver for single sideband signals utility and ham radio so that's a good side to it and like I said since the uh, audio is improved it's pretty cool and uh, one other nice little feature is the uh, you know the fact that it tells you what meter band you are in while you're tuning around the other feature that's cool is the fact that the clock is displayed at the same time as the frequency and that's really helpful in shortwave and this radio has what is what I consider being the best the best display illumination of all receivers I've ever seen and um, I wish every other manufacturer would look at how they did this display it's really nice display is cool because it's really big so you got these nice big frequency display, uh, meter band display. You've got, of course, on the top when you're in RDS mode. Uh, if I tune in a FM signal here, for example, let's go to FM. And uh, let's put a uh, RDS. And you'll see that here, the uh, nice little display here of information. That's pretty cool. So... Um, it is very nice. Um, I must say that the uh, RDS function is nice and the fact that the receiver actually works well um, on RDS with such a big display is pretty cool to see all the information on the display. So that's a nice little design here. And RDS is a nice feature I must admit on most receivers. So uh, this is the DGND1106. I give it a score of 6 out of 10. Uh, nice effort. Um, I think you need to work on a few features, DGN, especially the uh, synchronous detection. And uh, maybe make the audio a little better. But uh, this radio is a little disappointing uh, for the price. 
So this was the review of the Degen D1106 and uh, if you enjoyed these videos click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. If you have any comments or questions let us know. It's always fun to have feedback from everyone and of course uh, if you got any requests of a receiver or something you'd like to see I'll do my best to try to put a review online for you. So thanks for watching and 73s